<laughs> What's up guys? Um, today's video is about how to edit time lapses in LumaFusion, especially how to import single pictures into LumaFusion and create a video clip out of it. Um, one of my viewers, he's called JB, asked me a few weeks ago if I could make a tutorial about it. And I said yes and forgot it, sorry about this, but he reminded me yesterday, so here's your tutorial JB, have fun. At first I've shot a time lapse on a GoPro, because I guess most of the people have such cameras and they are really easy to use and they have a time, time lapse mode. So the pictures are on this SD card and I'm going to show you the whole process from importing and editing the uh, single pictures, so have fun! So these are the pictures I've made, these are quite a lot, the last are mistakes, so we are importing just up from up here. Let's do this. This takes some time. The weather outside is very dramatic today, so it was perfect to set up the GoPro in my garden. And let's see what the images look like. I think it's more than 700 pictures, so oh, here we go. Okay, let's go into the right folder, select, deselect the uh, wrong pictures in case, this case, this one, delete them. Yes. So, let's go into LumaFusion. Okay, open a new project. We want 60 frames per second. In this case, because we wanted to look as fluent as possible. 16 to 9 is perfect and go on. So important is that your settings for the single pictures are one frame per picture. You can go into the project settings. Oh no, sorry. You can go into global settings and set how much frames a single um, picture will have. In this case here it's 2 seconds. So 120 frames in this case. And we want it to be just one frame, so set it like this. Go back. Then now it's the boring part. You have to select all frames. So from the important thing is you have to start from the beginning. So now it's takes some time because I have to select 750 pictures in a row. I'm going to speed this a little bit up for you. The easier way would be to um, just edit the pictures or shoot a time-lapse video right out of the GoPro. The, yeah, it would be the, the handling would be much easier. But in this case, you're able, you, know, you would be able to edit every single frame like you wanted to have, or like you wanted. So in this case, you are able to edit every single frame how you want it to be. So you could import them into Lightroom Mobile and edit it and then save it as a file and then you have it right uh, like a kind of color grading in it you could skip the color grading on LumaFusion you can edit it like with the Adobe settings which are most of the people used to so this is really awesome but I'm going to skip this this time and edit them in LumaFusion only because not everybody has Lightroom Mobile.
that would be a great and simple improvement for Luma Fusion to like let us select all pictures from a folder. As you can see, the pictures are in 4 to 3 uh, scale. So we have to crop them or cut them, but we also have the opportunity to choose the look we want to have. If you want to shoot uh, time lapses more professional, you should definitely uh, use a DSLR or a GoPro go to single frame raw files and then edit them in Lightroom with a, with a plugin called LR time lapse, which is the most professional and most common used plugin for time lapses. It's really great. Um, you can follow a so-called holy grail edit, which gives you the opportunity to get smooth uh, transitions in between the single frame. So if they are changing light conditions, you are able to get smooth transitions in between them. So for example, day to night time lapses, and they will look just awesome and incredible. And uh, the technique behind LR time lapse is very complicated, but they they made it as simple as possible. So you just have to follow the steps, and after like two or three edits, you will, you will be very quick, and you know how to to edit the time lapses as best as possible. And yeah, my audio quality will be improved in future because um, yeah, I know it's really bad, but I don't want to spend money I don't have for for just for YouTube, you know. And uh, I have to buy a mic. But as far as I'm hitting the 1,000 subscribers, I will be able to monetize my videos. So I can spend the money I made from them for what I will make with them for equipment for YouTube. So in the first uh, the first buy will be a microphone. I already know which one. So in future the audio quality will be much better. So we have like let's go to six hundred sixty frames. This will be like eleven seconds of time lapse, which is more than enough and we would be able to speed it up afterwards so we can make 5.5 seconds out of 11 if we want to if not we don't have to so 660 so unfortunately i've made a mistake and deselected all the pictures so Right now I've just selected about yeah, 2.4 seconds of pictures, which is enough to show you how to handle them. Um, I hope this is okay for you, but otherwise I just would waste a lot of time. So what you have to do now, it's pretty simple. As you can see, we have a lot of frames here. To get them from the media drawer, into your timeline, you just have to press them and drag them over. It's very simple and yeah, this is the only way. What we should do first, change the project settings from to 4 to 3, because this is the original scale of the uh, picture. And then the next step is just save this file, because we, we, we want to edit a whole video and not every single frame. Okay, this is it. So now open a new project. Now we, sh we could uh, also get 60 frames a second, 16 to 9 scale and save. Now choose your video. And now we are able to edit it. As you can see, we have some 
space left and I want to see more sky so like this maybe we'll like this so we have a nice green frame and as you can see we have a time lapse and now we are able to edit it for that this one go to your color settings I will apply just a lot to it I'm not sure which one oh no it's, let's do it manually and we want high contrast of course I like it like this looks a bit surrealistic but gives a nice effect and that's pretty much it now you have a timeless video sample and um, you can use it for all of your projects it's easy takes some time but you're able to to edit the pictures how you want them to be if you want to otherwise i would uh, recommend you just using a video file which you are filming and speed it up so what i forgot to mention is of course this time lapse is the wrong way around so you have to play it back reverse to get a real time time lapse so in the right way and yeah in this case it doesn't matter because they are just moving clouds if they move from left to right or from right to left doesn't matter but if you're filming like people or a plane or a river you should uh, play back the, the clip in reverse so thanks for watching give thumbs up if you like this video i hope so and don't forget to subscribe and see you next time guys, bye!